then says the following. Explain two conditions needed for tropical storms to form. So then I've included three separate images that show three of the different conditions that are required for your tropical storm formation. So the first condition that is required, OK, you need to look at this one here. You need to be able to look at this image and explain why this causes your storm to form, or you can select one of the other two. So if we look at the command word in this question, our command word says explain. So remember, explain means say why something is happening, add detail to develop your point. So you're not just saying what it is that's happening, you're saying why this is actually taking place. It is asking you for two conditions in your answer. And it is for our formation of our storms. It's a four mark answer, which means that because those are requiring two conditions, you need to make two separate points and explain both of those separate points for me. So you can use these pictures to help you. I'm going to give you four minutes to do this. So if you pause the video clip, have a go at your answer. Once the four minutes are up, if you press play and we will go through the answer together. OK, so select pause for me now, please. OK, excellent. Welcome back. We're going to go through the answer to this question now. So as I said before, you needed to give two conditions, so two points in this answer with both of them developed and explained. So I've given you actually three different options that you can write about in your exam. You only need to use two of these to get the full marks. So the first one we're going to focus on is your warm ocean temperatures above 27 degrees. If you have warm ocean temperatures above 27 degrees, this is going to cause more evaporation. So it generates the energy, it generates the power for your tropical storm formation. So your first mark is for identifying, so saying that factor that causes your tropical storm to form. And then your second mark is for developing that, so explaining that point that you have made. OK, so the second piece of information, the second point that you can include here is our Coriolis effect. So the Coriolis effect is the rotation of the Earth. As the Earth rotates, it creates friction with the winds and the air above, causing it to rotate. This Coriolis effect causes your storm to rotate and spin and gives it that signature circular image when we look at satellite photos. If we didn't have this Earth's rotation, then your storm wouldn't be able to form. It wouldn't be able to collect all of that power, collect all of that energy together and it would just be a regular storm. So this is what generates that power. So your first mark is for stating this Coriolis effect. And then the second mark is for explaining why this leads to your tropical storm formation. OK, so the final one that you could talk about here, it has to be in a low pressure system. OK, this low pressure causes the formation of clouds and, con and condensation occurs. So you need low pressure, which causes your air to rise up. As this air rises up, it causes um, your temperatures to decrease, which leads to the condensation, giving your tropical storm that high rainfall um, conditions that are taking place there. Perfect. So if you give yourself a mark out of four for me, please. There are other options that you could talk about in your answer. I'm going to just state some of them now. So the first one you could talk about um, low shear winds. If you have a low shear wind, these are basically the small winds that take place in the atmosphere. Um, if you have a small shear wind, um, then your, form can, your storm can create because strong shear winds will cause your storm to be broken apart. Another um, condition that you could mention um, could be to do with the location on the Earth. So it has to be in between kind of just north or south of the equator because of this Coriolis effect. So you could bring that into your Coriolis effect as well, your location within the Earth. OK, perfect. So if you give yourself a mark. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the clip and found it useful for all your geography revision needs, please hit the like button below. If you want access to more content like this, more revision playlists, more exam technique and feedback, please subscribe to the channel. Regular content will be added and updated to help support you on your GCSE journey.